let's talk about metal, specifically the difference between hot rolled and cold rolled. Most of the time we use hot rolled metal in the shop, A36 quality, which just means the composition of the different materials adds up to whatever. We call it A36, that's what it's standardly called. But a lot of the time we use hot rolled, which means hot rolled is starts out as a sheet and then for something like this square tube, it is formed while it's still glowing red into the complete shape that it's supposed to be, whether it's circular, a tube or square tube, rectangular tube, anything like that. But what happens when it meets back up and completes that shape is there becomes a seam where it becomes attached. So that's what this irregularity is in this tube right here is the seam. And it's gonna be different on every batch of steel that's made. So one part that's important when thinking about fabrication of stuff that's gonna be visible, you try and hide the seams as best as possible. So on this one, it's gonna be a trash enclosure and all the seams are gonna be facing a wall. And then there's horizontal tubes where all the seams are gonna be down low. So you're not gonna be able to see those either. Very important little details like that that kind of make it a little nice, uh, a little extra touch. Morning. In this wonderful shop I call a job, we have some pretty simple rules. Number one, keep the client happy. Number two, build things to the correct dimensions. Number three, build things square. Number four, build things cheap. No, number four is build things fast. Number five, save money where we can. And there's some fancy triangle about good work, cheap work, and fast work. And that applies very much so here. So, speaking of triangles, let's talk about a pretty simple rule of fabrication. Building things square. And yeah, we're going to be talking about geometry. And it's been a while since I took geometry. But this one's pretty simple, and everyone should have a general clue of it. It's called the Pythagorean Theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And... In this case, the way we use it most is a three, four, five right triangle. So leg A, we would measure down, it could be three feet, it could be three inches, three feet, 36 inches. Um, this leg being leg B, so four feet, 48 inches, or even something smaller, four inches, which means the hypotenuse between those two points is C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 3, 4, and then the hypotenuse is going to be 5 feet, or 60 inches. 
So in something that's going to be a big frame like this, we want square corners because a big panel of sheet metal is going to slide in here and get trapped inside these tubes. So sounds pretty simple, right? But when you're working with something this big, certain welds in certain spots will move this leg, not up that at that point, but down here. So it'll waver it one way or another. That's why all these clamps are holding it in place so that as the expansion and contraction of the metal when you're welding happens, it's all controlled and locked in place so that it can cool where it needs to cool rather than allowing to cool how it wants to cool. Now, everybody, you may not know what this is. Personally, we're still trying to figure it out. Not really. Um, this is going to be a snowcat transportation cab, essentially. There's this big piece of equipment back here. It's got kind of tank tracks, um, and it's used for taking people up, uh, up to the top of a mountain, pretty backcountry skiing territory. And uh, this is going to be a, a human transportation device. Uh, for it it's uh it's been designed by one of the great guys here and basically off a couple pictures we've gotten this far um still a lot to go obviously and uh we're on a time crunch so you're gonna see a lot of work get done on this today um yeah no at max capacity this is going to be able to fit seven people three on this side three on that side and then there's going to be what we call a jump seat which will fold up and fold down right here. Now, the cool thing about this cab that we're making, there's going to be two compartments, one up in that radius bend, and then one up here. So there's going to be four speakers, as well as compartments to store backpacks, uh, essential safety gear, anything like that. There's also going to be a heater that is going to be under this seat back here with vents that'll be blowing right on the feet over here, and then they'll tube all the way around this seat and point back at the people sitting here so that everybody can stay warm because here backcountry skiing in Colorado it uh is pretty chilly so just a couple things that are going to be a little different about ours but they're going to make them that the next level of comfy now we haven't talked about this shiny gray metal too much or shiny silver metal 
this whole frame is going to be made out of aluminum. All the add-ins and everything, the seat pans, which are going to get upholstered, are all made out of aluminum. Why do we choose aluminum? It's light. I mean, you can pick this whole thing up with three people already. Um, and if this was made out of steel, it would be already close to 2,000 pounds. So aluminum is light. It's extremely structural when given the proper shapes, triangles and such. And especially sheet like this, which is going to be covering the entire thing, you can bend it with ease. And then as well as skinning it, skinning it, meaning it's going to have a polycarbonate, uh, I believe it's yellow actually, um, color on the outside with insulation, just like normal house walls to keep all that heat from that heater that we're having. Keep it inside and keep everyone cozy.